Now I'm going to show you how to create some objects in 3D Studio Max. We're going to start with some standard primitives and that can once again be found under the Create panel and we're going to go to Geometry, Standard Primitives and we're going to select Box and that's what we're going to start with. To draw a box I'm going to start in my top viewport and with that button highlighted I'm going to click and hold with the left mouse and drag and that's going to allow me to size it. It starts out as a plane. If you look at my parameters over on the right, it's showing the size of the box. Right now, I'm at like 14 feet, 7 inches for length, 19 feet for width. And as I drag it, you can see that change. So you can get it kind of where you want. And then you're going to release that left mouse button. And it's now going to adjust the height. And this is the useful part about having multiple viewports open. You can see, I can't see that on the top, but I can see that in the perspective very well that I'm changing the height. And so I'll just put a height that I want it to be in. I'm actually going to go to this viewport. I can pan around. And that's how I created this object. You know, a cone is done in a very similar fashion. You drag, and then you're, you create a height, and then you create the cone. Um, sphere, same thing. You're just going to have to play around. All these things are created slightly differently. You're just going to have to play with them and figure out how they're created. Um, if you haven't unselected it yet, you can change the, the parameters here. Like if I want the radius of the sphere to be 3 feet, I can change it 3 feet. I can change it to 6 feet if I want it. Um, change the amount of segments to 12. And it's like a really boxy sphere at this point. And, but the minute I unselect it, um, I can't change those anymore. Not from here anyway. You can do it on the Modify panel. I'll show you that later. But if you have something and you want it to be an exact size, create it and put those in right away because it's there and it's very convenient for you. In addition to the standard primitives, 3D Studio Max also has quite a few built in like we talked about. There's the extended primitives which have a lot more complex shapes. Uh, they're not used probably as much, but it's good to know that they're here. Um, you know, this is a torus knot, which you can do some fun rendering tests with, and that's super easy to create. The oil tank, I think, is really useful. A lot of times when I'm making a cylinder, I end up adding a cap and chamfering the edges anyway. So I'll create the tank, and then it gives me the height of the caps and all these editable properties over here. Um, so yeah, play around with these. You might be surprised what you find and how much time they can save you. Okay, and like I said, they also have some really cool things built in, um, like doors. So here I'm going to create a door. I'll give it a depth. I'll give it a height. And it has parameters here that you can change. You can create this door, change the height. We can make a double doors. We can you know, set how open the doors are. You know, you can tweak the frame, you can tweak the frame width. You know, it's all these built-in parameters, kind of like a early version of Revit in some ways. It's, you can kind of create it from this, you know, these preset parameters. They have doors, they have windows, they have stairs. Um, it could save you some time. You know, it's definitely worth, it, worth looking into, you know, especially stairs. They can be kind of a pain to create sometimes, but using this way can be really simple. So definitely take some time, learn about the different things that 3D Studio Max has built in that they'll let you, uh, they'll let you create some objects.